have we ever been on a boat before? I've been on canoes and kayaks, but never lived on one or even stayed a night on one before this. No. They may be canal boat novices, but Callum and Gabby have worked out a brilliant money-saving plan. You can move for free for up to two weeks, so every fortnight, they're going to relocate a couple of miles. But they don't want their itinerant lifestyle to come at a cost of comfort. One of the things is we didn't really want to make any compromises, so we want the sense of an upmarket apartment. Yeah. Whilst wreaking the benefits of living, living on, on the water. water. I'll tell you what, this looks stunning. Absolutely beautiful. We tried. <laughs> you've tried and you've succeeded, because that is stunning. The contemporary design of this open plan living area has the feel of a luxury flat. It's only when you look out the windows you realise you're on a boat. And with those windows on both sides and a skylight as well, it feels wonderfully bright and airy. For a cool modern look, Callum's fitted industrial pipework and stylish lights. And if the wood burner isn't enough, there's underfloor heating throughout. Oh, you are lovely, aren't you? <laughs> and Bilson the dog likes it too. It's big, isn't it? Yeah. Way more spacious than we ever thought. Can we see some more? Yeah, yeah. Go on, lead the way. Go for it. Despite its bijou size, the multi-purpose spare room cleverly works as home office and bedroom. So many functions in a tiny space. And let's face it, I'll probably use it a little bit as a dressing room at times. Yeah, I didn't know about the last one. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the bathroom with full-size shower and smart, crisp white tiling that's doing it for Gabby. Oh, my words. You know when you've just got, like, an image in your head and you need to do it? And he's so good, he can. And finally, Callum and Gabby's triple aspect master bedroom. This is bigger than one of my bedrooms in a flat I had in London. It's amazing. We can choose what views we have. Absolutely. You can yeah. move your house. Yeah. How good is that? Look at that sun shining. Life on the water, eh? So this is it? Yes. Yes. It's beautiful, isn't it? Well, we think so. Now, how big is it? It's about 2.6 metres by 3 metres. That's the size of my bedroom when I was a kid. So what are you going to put in there? Downstairs, I'm going to put a nice sitting area, a dining area. Yeah. There'll be a bathroom and there'll be a kitchen. And a bed. Oh, and a bed. Yeah. yeah. How on earth are you going to do that? Well, <laughs> yeah, you say we we've like come up project. with something, but when we do share the idea with others, people go, what? Yeah. <laughs> so it's probably easier if we show you, to be honest. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to be an architectural magician to make that work. Crikey. It is tiny, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> tiny, with a beast of an oven. Yep. How on earth are you going to fit all the things that you've listed in this space? Your bathroom only needs to be big when you're in it. So I figure you could have the whole bathroom wall moved across and stuck on a wall, Yeah. and when you need it, pull it towards you to create the bathroom. You are designing and building a disappearing bathroom? Yes. <laughs> Never thought of it that way, have we? I like that. There's a, there's <laughs> a first on Amazing Spaces. You've done a great job. Can we go inside? Yeah, let's go so, ahead. After you. It's a startling transformation from a tiny, dusty room filled with an ancient oven to a bright, light, and spacious home. That is unrecognizable in every way, shape, and form, isn't it? different, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Crikey! You've got a tiny, tiny mini living space all finished and done on the ground floor. Yeah. Yeah. The kitchen yeah. looks stunning. Yeah, we're really pleased with that. As well as a fully fitted kitchen, there's a corner sofa which, for a mini multi-purpose space, cleverly unfolds into a bed. But, of course, Guy's got another trick up his sleeve. The sofa also doubles up as a dining table. But that's your dining table? This is the dining table, yes. So we press here, that comes down. Leg of that! Down. Leg over the top. There you go. For that to come down, turn, the leg to fold out, 
to have all the sliders happening as well. It's not just the hinge mechanism. With storage behind it, what a brilliant bit of engineering that is. Thank you. That's clever, but of course, I'm here to see the daddy of all engineering tricks, the disappearing bathroom. So shall we move the wall? Let's move the wall. Yeah. Come on, let's yes, do it. Absolutely. So you'll have to squeeze in there. Yeah, yeah. 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 position is way. important. <laughs> I'm not going to get squashed here, No, no, you're in the clearance zone. Right, OK. okay. <laughs> let's do it. Oh, my word. That is amazing. That is genius. That's absolute mm -hmm. genius, that. Mind-bending, space-transforming, mm -hmm. magical work you've done there. Cheers. To have the idea is one thing. To build it, to make it work, to make it function as brilliantly as this does, that's off the scale. Brilliant. Thanks. Move it back again. Let me have a look. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. <laughs> that kitchen cupboard rotates with the same mechanism. Yeah, yeah. Shut up! <laughs> I could happily stand here and watch this brilliant piece of engineering all day long. Guy has managed to create a movable wall that glides with ease and a bathroom that literally appears out of nowhere. I think a few chapters of the rule book have just been rewritten. I've been lucky enough to see some staggeringly brilliant things on Amazing Spaces. This would be in my top five. Thank you very much. What on earth is this? It's our beautiful, but potentially needs to be redone garage. <laughs> and what's it going to be? Well, what we're going to do is um, we're going to take it down and we're going to rebuild it. We're going to build in a pitched roof and have a mezzanine and then try and take advantage of the views of what is the biggest river in Britain that you wouldn't know is there. So if we got on there, it might be a good little indicator of yeah, roughly, I roughly so. where the mezzanine could be. Yeah. Should we climb up? Yep. Is it safe? It. We'll find out. <laughs> I'll leave you to it. <laughs> <laughs> It's time to find out if rebuilding the whole garage to be able to see the river will be worth the effort. Come on up, mate. Now, it's a beautiful view. I mean, that has got to be 15 mile view. That is beautiful, that. I wasn't quite expecting an elevation as beautiful as that. You've got the bullseyes. Yeah. My nana would be chuffed to bits if she saw that you'd put those in. <laughs> but that eyebrow window, is really stunning. It's, it's one of the most quintessential idyllic-shaped roofs that you could ever build. Dormer windows are usually quite boxy, so how can I make it less boxy? And that happened. I love <laughs> yeah. that. Just that happened. For you to have beautiful windows that you've reclaimed and have that gentle sweep of an eyebrow window is just stunning. Honestly, it's beautiful, that. The outside has a charming, shabby chic feel. But inside, it suddenly becomes truly sophisticated. That has taken my breath away. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. Neither was I. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's medieval. Yeah. <laughs> it is, and I mean that. That's yeah. a big compliment. Honestly, it's medieval in terms of, in some ways, how it looks, but the process of how it's been built. A bit of foraged timber, <laughs> you know, from the river from over there to create bits of balustrade. And you just go with it and you build with what you've got. And you know what? That's what we've done for thousands and thousands of years. While the downstairs is a smart and spacious family room, what about the mezzanine? and that all-important view. Oh, oh, that's it, the river! That's what you wanted. Yeah, it's great. Even when it rains, you can sit there and it's like a little hidey hole. And what a bed that is. The kids must love this. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to climb in. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I think I might move in. <laughs> <laughs> There's something really beautiful about this. It's really romantic. For an idyllic family space designed to make the most of the river, surely this barn has it all. No way! Yes way! <laughs> Just when I thought this project couldn't get any better, <laughs> you do that. Well, I don't know how you guys feel, but I'm pinching myself. You literally stand here and you look 
inside of what you've built, which is so beautiful. And then you look at what you've got outside. And you've basically taken bits of that and built that. Brilliant.